if you had your daughter right in front of you, what would you tell her? When I'm by myself, I do this too. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Take your time. Um. I guess it's kind of a uh, tradition, maybe, on the one-year anniversary that you write your first letter to the donor's family, and what you don't know whether they're going to even want to receive it or not, or, or whatever, but I, you want to say the right thing, and I go through a lot of tears trying to do that, but it's, it's special. I want them to know that I understand what they went through it was much more horrible than what I went through. It's, the reason I'm still alive. My dad's always been very active. He raced motorcycles when we were young. He golfed. It was hard to see him not be able to do the things that he liked to do. Um, hard to see him not be able to go out and watch his grandkids at their sporting events and watch Jade dance and um, all the things that he wanted to do. It's fun to be able to share our story um, and have an opportunity for people to know how organ donation impacted our whole family. So exciting to be alive. It, it, it's, it's a brand new life. And that's kind of our, our motto around here, is, is it's brand new life. <laughs>